Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm starting my video from bed and I'm probably gonna end it here too, let's be honest. So it is actually 9.19 a.m. and I woke up and I started to film this video which is a little gallant reading vlog. So I'm reading this for Magical Readathon for one of the prompts which was to be like the book on the top of your TBR. And it's not really long and it's one of my anticipated releases, you know, being via Schwab and all. And I thought, let's just film a little vlog, which is not gonna be, you know, as long. I'm literally just gonna read this. And hopefully I will finish it like now, like so it doesn't go out in a day. But if we do, I will bring you with me, of course. I'm in bed still. I did go and like wash my face and brush my hair and stuff like that. But I'm still in my PJs and I'm just gonna read and I think I will try to update you every 100 pages. And I think this is less than 300. So it should be at least three updates. More often than that, and I will go and say. The edition I decided to read this is the Waterstones one. So it's really cute. It's the red one like this. Can you see? And um, I think it has so cool and papers. But yeah, I have other editions of this as well, which I have shown in a haul. I believe before this, at this point, filming all these videos for Vida has like made me insane. So I don't know what's going up one, but I'm just filming, hoping it will figure itself out. Wait, I'm just gonna add it in my app. Okay, so it's actually 307 pages, which I sneakily checked. And yes, I do that. Yeah, I could have been spoiled, I am aware. 307 pages is not a lot. And I, I don't know how fast paced it will be, but I assume it will be fast. So I'm gonna take off the dust jacket while reading it. Where do I put that? Put it here. I'm gonna start reading now. So, see you in 100 pages. Okay, god, that was a bit of an intense light. It has been about 30 minutes, or a bit more than that, because I had to go to the toilet. I am now on chapter 11, so that starts on page 103. So it's been ish 100 pages, and I'm really enjoying it so far. We're basically covering a lot of the synopsis right now. I reread so I don't spoil you when I talk more about the book because I don't want to spoil you. But basically, the book follows Olivia, who is 16 years old and she has lived most of her life in this school. I think it was an all girl school, but there was a boy there. So I'm a bit confused if it was an all girl school. But she's been there all her life. She doesn't really know her family. Her mother disappeared. Her father also as soon as he disappeared or he died and then she gets this letter one day that's saying it's from her uncle and invites her to Gallant which is the family home and she's never heard about Gallant before or like she heard a word because she has a mother's journal and she never like met that family had no idea who he is and then she goes there it's really like mysterious there's definitely something going on Cousin doesn't want her there. There's like, don't go into the dark. We don't know what's going on right now. And like, that's basically synopsis. It's basically what they cover now, I would say, in the first 100 pages to get into the story. So it's not really a spoiler because it is in the synopsis. But yeah, really liking the atmosphere, really liking the characters. Olivia also can't speak, so she speaks with sign language, which I also didn't know was a thing in a book. Like, I usually don't read synopsis <laughs> or like, no much about books before going into them, depending a bit, but like most of the time. There's no out loud dialogue from my main character. That's more likely than not to not be a thing in a book. But yeah, really enjoying it so far. I don't really have many more thoughts than that because we like just getting into the story, but we only have 200 pages left. So really curious to see 
more stuff in it. Like some few things that's already like started to be a bit revealed or like hinted to, but I don't want to spoil because it's a spoiler free vlog at least until the end if I put some spoiler thoughts in the end. Like there was especially like one thing we found out and it made me a bit sad, but I don't want to say what it is because you know, spoilers. I've said the word spoiler so many times now. But yeah, gonna continue reading now. I'm just gonna add this reading session in my wonderful app. See how much time it would take me to finish it. it. Says I will finish it in 57 minutes, which is cool if I actually do, but we will see. Also, the book has illustrations and stuff like every time a chapter ends. It's kind of nice because it feels like you read more pages than you actually did, but it's really like pretty. I would, I, I was going to show you one, but that was impossible to find. Like here. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I think it's people holding hands in a way. I mean, art is, you know, can be whatever you want. Like this, for example. That's pretty cool. I also know the US hardcover. This is obviously a UK hardcover, like a tiny one. But I know the US hardcover maybe has like, it's like big. It's like not a normal size hardcover. And I wonder how the illustrations looks in that one. I'm excited to get myself my copy when it arrives to see that. But uh, yeah, that was just a thought. Now I'm gonna read. So see you in a hundred pages. like an evolved Pokemon because I actually did get dressed and then I went back into bed anyway. <laughs> I wanted to sit in my couch but then I didn't bother to move all my plushies. I was like, eh, bedtime. I used like 20 minutes to actually read the other 100 pages. But if you read a book, you know that this section kind of had a reason that I read so much faster because there were some pages that like was not a lot of text on and they were super fast. So we're going deeper into the mystery. I don't really know what to tell you. It's kind of like, just based on everything I said earlier, what to, what to say without spoilers, you know? And I'm just very curious to see the answers or like what Olivia will find. Because right now I was literally kind of in, I would say like a cliffhanger scene. And then I had to stop reading to update the vlog and I was like, dang. It's very atmospheric, I would say. I don't know, it reminds me very much of Coraline by Neil Gaiman in a way of atmosphere and like the way kind of the story is told in a way. But like nothing wrong with that because that book was really enjoyable. So just a thought how to share thoughts how to vlog how to say anything i don't know i think i just gotta keep reading the last hundred pages to find out what is going on in my head i'm trying to like figure out how we end in a way that there's kind of two endings in my head but there was one thing in the book that i thought was really cool and i think like i should have some spoiled thoughts in the end just because but they will be tagged and i will tell you when that comes but I think I'm just going to continue reading. Sorry for the short update. I don't know what to say, okay? It's just exciting. And I want to know what happens. So I'm going to read now. <laughs> so I so said we'll finish it in 26 minutes. Let's go.
and I'm done. So I finished it and I did really, really enjoy it. I think it's hard to give a rating literally the minute after I finish it. But of all, a very enjoyable Schwabok. I think it is a lot about belonging and finding a home. And I think look, those themes are really beautiful. It was quite sad though, but like I kind of expected that. And I feel like I don't know what I feel about the ending in a way that the circle kind of just continued in a way. And I'm just a bit like, hmm, like how do I feel about that in a way? But overall, like good vibes, at least four stars. I don't know if it's like a five star. I like literally never get five stars. I have a really hard time doing so. But like a really strong four for now and then I'm gonna think more about it. But the story is really beautiful. I like the setup. I like the atmosphere the most. And it was like truly a solid story where it wasn't too long. Like as I said, it was only 300 pages. I feel like it didn't need to be longer. While at the same time, the last conflict that was a bit like, that was fast, but it also like, didn't need to be longer as well so that's kind of weird like that i was gonna say feeling i don't know how to describe it this uh, was that why <laughs> it's a bit weird short video i don't even know you just got to see me read this book in i was gonna say almost real time i didn't like actually feel myself the whole time reading but some of it but a beautiful atmospheric book no romance no like it's just like about a home, but yeah, because main character has always been seeing stuff. So that's a big theme in it, seeing ghouls and it's like just continue with that theme. Vishwap is really good with atmosphere and being able to tell the story she wants to tell. Like, yeah, they're great. So I don't know like more, what more to say. I want to talk some spoilers, so I'm going to do that. But if you just watch this, and enjoyed it and thank you so much i don't know why i said it like that leave like a seed emoji down below if you enjoyed this and you will see me soon in the video bye to you and i'm gonna talk some spoilers so first i want to say that i was really sad when in the first 100 pages we found out the mother was dead i was hoping she would show up but it kind of also made sense and then later we found out that the ghoul that had been following her all along was her mother watching her and i was a bit like this is sad i got goosebumps thinking about that right now so i thought i was sad and then the journal that she has that is her mother's we find out that was her father's and her mother's because her father do the drawings which also is a part of the story and i thought it was funny that i earlier said that I didn't really like get like what they represented all the time and neither did Olivia. So I thought that that was interesting. And also we found out that father is from the shadow world because there's a shadow world on the other side of the wall, which was like the whole thing that they're protecting against them coming into the world. I was gonna say to take over and make everything dark and sad and death, you know? And I think that I feel like Olivia should have had more powers, also like something be more different considering the fact that she's half shadow person, half human. But like, I guess she did control ghouls in a way as well, like we saw in the end. I thought it was interesting to see them guarding this door. It reminded me again a bit of Coraline <laughs> because she finds a door, you know, to another world. And like, I didn't want to say anything in the non spoiler section about what she finds because it's really like the mystery to keeping on toes and unraveling the story herself. So I didn't want to like mention any of that. I really like the journal parts, even though I think like they get repeated a lot, but like I didn't mind them. We find out that the that dude, the Lord of that, I don't know what to call him, makes everyone go insane and like keep them awake with dreams and like nightmares. And they've been doing this for years, which basically make them all go insane and can't sleep. And so that they will open the door with their blood. And I was like, this seems like a really hard job because I feel like humans need sleep and if you don't get them you could go literally insane and just seeing how Matthew was I was just like dude it's not weird you're a bit rude and just thinking now after the end they thought for a moment that Matthew's brother Thomas was alive and she went in to get him and I knew that was gonna go to shit but the point is that I hoped he would be alive because there's only two priors left and then it was a fake and then they accidentally let him out because he tricked them and then she managed to get him in again. I literally, the page she got him back through the door where she summons all the ghouls in her side of the world 
took half a page and I was really like I didn't want like a long stretch out battle either because I feel like that would not fit in this book it was more like I just imagine like it was one strong powerful moment and then we just like get rid of it and then the book is ended while it was very short and very quick and kind of like I was like that was kind of easy it was also just fit for the story so I don't know like how I feel about the conflict being solved that fast but it's not really solved though because he's still there on the other side wanting to get out Matthew dies so Olivia takes up the I was gonna say the burden of guarding this door and she is now being haunted by dreams and that's how it ends so it's neither a happy or a actually mostly a sad ending i was gonna say it's neither a happy or sad ending but it's literally sad gonna be going insane even though she has been haunted for a long time but like she's gonna get like the full focus of the dude i don't like see how that's gonna end well either she will break or she will not but when she dies then you know like then the line is dead so then no one can get in because there's no blood to open the gate so why don't she just like leave <laughs> i guess not it makes sense she didn't want to leave because she found her home and she literally says like Gallant is her home. This is where she belongs. And she never ever had that. And it makes sense she wants to stay. I do get that. I just, yeah. But there's like still like, you know, as I said in the non-spoiler section. That the circle just kind of continued. Because, you know, you didn't like solve it. But you can't defeat that forever. But it was so sad because she kind of also lost her family. Even though she still has, you know, her house and her home. So yeah, a bittersweet ending, that was what I wanted. But the story overall was still like beautiful in a way and really atmospheric and I really enjoyed it. But yeah, it was fun. It was short and sweet and uh, yeah, I just really think that Risha is manages to write really different kind of stories and while having the same vibe in a way. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, that was my spoiler thoughts, aka a, basically a summary. <laughs> I'm gonna go now because I don't know how long this will be, but I don't have more to say. What got me the most was not Matthew dying, it was finding out the mother was that along and been watching her. That was like my favorite reveal. Oh god, that was the thing for the camera lens. Literally flew, where did it go? There. So yeah, you will see me soon in a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, sprout emoji or vine emoji. I don't know, plant something emoji down below. You will see me soon. Bye.